Imagine we have an input tax element. For example, it contains the user social security number. How do we confirm the input value? Well, we get the input element, let's say by ID, and we use an assertion should have value. And if we know the value, that's the best, because it just confirms that this input element has the expected value. But imagine we don't have a value, but we know that it should match a regular expression. How do we confirm this? Well, from the input element, we need to get the value. Because this is a jQuery element that scigat gives us, we can invoke its val, and then we can use should match assertion with a regular expression. In this case, it starts with a digits, three digits, right? Then another two digits, then dash, another four digits, and the end of expected value. So our value in that input matches the regular expression. We can do another thing. Instead of invoking jQuery val method, we can add an assertion. We can say should have prop value. And the interesting thing about this particular assertion is that it actually changes the subject. The subject yielded by scigat is the input element. The subject yielded by this assertion is the value of that prop. So it yields the string one, two, three, four, dash, and so on into the next assertion that verifies it. So there are a couple ways you can confirm that the input value of a particular element matches a regular expression.